Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the review of the Tribe 7 Fort 7 Head. I'm Coach Damon. I'm here with Evan from Team Lax Goalie Rat and a new face. It's Dylan. Dylan Mandeville, uh, originally from Michigan, fell in love with you. You tell the story, Dylan. Give us give us the 30 second Dylan intro. Yeah, well, you know, I, I had never played until my freshman year in college. I played football in college, and one of my coaches got us to play in the offseason and fell in love with it. And now, you know, I play in the men's league here. I played in the NABLL this year for the Knoxville Shiners. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm a, an addict. It's, it's uh, some people have, you know, a fishing sickness or, you know, whatever. Mine's, mine's lacrosse. So, yeah, and more it. importantly, you're a gear nut, and that's what we're gonna. What we're gonna review today is a relatively, I would say, unknown head in the lacrosse goalie community, and so that's why I I sent out an email uh, or sent out a request looking for people to help me review this. And Dylan says, "That's my gamer. That's my gamer. I'm in." Uh, so we're here to talk about this goalie head from uh, Tribe Seven. It's called the Fort Seven. Uh, Evan, when we when we think about like performance let's talk about performance first and 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 hit on things like face shape and durability uh what comes to mind for you yeah so first um just to kind of touch on tribe seven themselves um they're a company that they're a smaller company that have been around uh for a long time now um they first came on my radar back when i was in college and i used to take face-offs um their heads were famous for being super durable um they would sell it as um uh, they had a face-off head that they would run over with a truck and it wouldn't break um, was how they sold it. So um, it's a smaller company that's been along uh, around for a while now and um, has been something that I've followed for a while. Um, so to be able to take a look at this goalie head, um, it's been really awesome. So um, yeah, so the first thing that we want to look at is um, just the weight uh, of the head, um, which is something that's super key um when we're playing a net we don't want to have to think about lugging around um you know a big piece of plastic and um you know that was one of the first things that kind of stood out with this head is that you know uh it's it's pretty comparable to a lot of the other heads that um we we've used or we've tried i don't think anything um like dylan you had said earlier like i don't think anything's really ever going to touch the impact for a while now but um you know, it's, it's relatively light. Uh, Dylan, what were your sort of impressions on it? Uh, I agree. I mean, it's comparable to the Eclipse 2, you know, to the Nemesis 3. It's, it's right in there. It's not noticeable. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I kind of agreed the face shape is just a little different and that's what, what drew it to me. And I like, you know, different stuff. Like I love the CL18, uh, but the weight was an issue for me with that one. Like it was noticeable. And this one is, right in there with all the you know top line heads in the market right now i feel like except for the impact but nothing's going to touch that right now yeah when you talk about the face shape like it's definitely you know there used to be uh triangle heads like way back in the day you look at the original like goalie heads and they're triangle shape and now like when you look at the impact it's more of like the rounded shape right and this the tribe seven certainly has more of a triangle shape that you know it's sort of flatter across the top and then comes in as opposed to the spoon or circle shape um of the ecd so it's definitely you know ecd is a little bit um on the small like you know it's not like super small but it's definitely like a, a smaller head so you do get a little more uh just a tiny bit more save coverage area with the tribe seven um but Evan, you were saying that, you know, that the, the, the face shape and the kind of the way that it comes in can be kind of tricky for some goalies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, to kind of touch on it, there's a couple other heads that have a similar face shape to this. Um, and that's the SCX shield, um, which is not, is discontinued at this point now, um, as well as I have the Nike Prime Elite here. So you can see it's got that similar sort of kind of squared off edges at the top of the head. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed and that the goalies that I had using at, at UMB when we were testing this out noticed is that with the Tribe 7, it's a bit of an over-aggressive angle compared to like even with the, the Prime Elite, it, it is somewhat rounded a little bit more. So what we found was that especially on low saves, uh, especially on the off-hip stick, or sorry, off-hip off low, um, is that it was almost getting stuck in the turf. 
as we're we're so used to using like an impact or even an eclipse that has a rounder head um when you're not used to using that um that was something that we kind of saw in our game that was getting in the way and it was causing when we're going to make that low save it was causing either us to get stuck in the turf or the head to spin and open up um with uh lengthwise like this um so again like the coverage is great it gives you that extra bit of space um, which is a big selling point um of this head um but that was one of the things that I just sort of felt that I, I personally didn't like was that um, I, I almost like that rounded piece because it allows for that extra room, like trying to, to go to spaces. But uh, again, that's more of a, I, I think when it comes down to gear and stuff like that, it, it's a preference piece. So that's just something that I, I sort of noticed and something to keep in mind when it comes to the set. So, yeah, it's and, interesting. And the, um, for me, go ahead, Dylan. For, for me, that extra eight inches, that they that they you know uh, put out there for for a selling point. Uh, a lot of it is just mental for me. Like you're you're giving me extra than anybody else, and and I'll, I'll take that any day because how many saves do you get that you barely get? You know, if I could get one or two more of those, I feel like that's for me. You know, more than noticing it on the bottom. Uh, so I really like that. And I played with the shield for a while, so uh, I, I guess I really didn't notice that part. But a lot of it's mental, you know. They, they say they put these little things in the in the back too that that's extra for your clamp when you drag it back. I didn't really notice that. It's not like something you're like, oh man, all of a sudden I'm snatching way more clamps. But again, it just goes back to the mental. I feel like you know I I was lucky enough to go to one of the goalie Smith events. Um, and they let me participate, even though I'm an old man, but just to kind of learn that stuff and, and help bring it back to the youth. And uh, so much of it is mental. So anything that gives me, you know, one little extra save in my mind, even if it never does, uh, I'm, all, I'm all for it. So that's what drew me to, to start using it for, for in my gamer. Yeah, interesting. And when you look at, you know, the corners of this of this head, it kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, but it kind of, they kind of have like a little lip right there, a little lip in the top, like, right here, right? It kind of shoots out a little bit, shoots out a little bit. Uh, Dylan, your your tribe set, your Fort 7 head looks like it's got, it's taken a few more shots than this one. This one's brand spanking new. Uh, you've taken some shots, right? What happens when it when it hits the corner? Is that is that just pure mental or, or is that giving me some performance? Oh, I, I mean, I feel like, you know, I played with an Eclipse for a while and you can kind of noticeably see the backwards cant or whatever. Right. And for me, I noticed way more shots that would hit and go in, um, kind of like that. And I, I don't want to say instantly noticed, but it was noticeable the difference between a lower number of shots that you get a tip on and go in. So I don't know if that uh, was just something because you hear this is supposed to deflect shots out and maybe I just paid more attention to it. But I feel like I honestly noticed a couple more than using the Eclipse too. Yeah, interesting. The other feature that I want to point out that I like, that I like, so on the throat, it has like these little, um, I'm going to call them nubs. Maybe that's the technical term, nubs, right? It kind of like, you can kind of see it right there. It kind of sh like shoots out a little bit. And so for those that do grip the plastic in their throat, uh, in their, it grip, sorry, grip the plastic with their top hand, you know, it's just something to hold on to. I don't, do, you, do either of you grip the plastic in your, in your setup? Or you go right here. Uh, yeah, so I grip the plastic, so um, it's it's. Uh, I could see how it would be kind of nice because you do have that extra little bit of I don't know tension that you can kind of grab under. Mm -hmm. um, there's not. It's kind of a bulky throat, so it's it is a little bit hard to kind of get a hold of anything on here compared to like the thing that I like about the impact and what we talked about in that review is that there's kind of that gap in the back of it that you can kind of see here that you can kind of rest your hand on and you can almost like lock into here, um, which this one doesn't really, it's, it's a pretty bulky throat. So it's kind of really hard to get a good grip of the plastic, but there is that space in there that if you like, like myself, I kind of like to pop in there. Um, it does allow me to kind of hold a little bit, but um, yeah, that's sort of my thought on the throat. Yeah, love it. Uh, what about durability? How long have you had yours, uh, Dylan? And and have you noticed any um, difference in you know the strength of the head or even 
uh, just just its overall durability through those through those shots? Um, it seems like I've had it for over a year. Um, I feel like it's a hold up pretty well, especially in the summer. You know, sometimes in the heat. Um, I did get. I don't know if you can see this piece of tape right here. Mm -hmm. one little crack in there but that was on our Halloween game it was about 35 degrees so it was pretty cold out I don't want to hold that against it but right there um, I did have a little bit of crack uh, okay. but I sent an email to the to the company just to give them a little feedback and they instantly gave me a discount wanted to send me another one uh, so they definitely were receptive to it which I appreciated well, wow, that's what I love so much about small lacrosse companies. And these guys are awesome. I've, me and Evan met with them on Zoom and, and had a great chat. And they're just, yeah, I mean, they're in it for the right reasons. They love the game. Uh, you know, they're trying to make the best products that they can. Uh, and that's why we do these, these videos, right, to these reviews to help um, get the word out about this product. But also, you know, if there's some constructive feedback, we can give that to them as well. Uh, so we talked about durability. Actually, Evan, did you want to add something on durability? Yeah, I mean, I think the, like the flex is is relatively okay. I think it's comparable to to maybe an eclipse too. It's not quite the reinforced scoop that an an impact has, or you know, the stiffness of a, of a nemesis per se. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I think it's just something to maybe keep in mind. And and again, like I feel like I say this every time we do these reviews, is that um, it, it's it's so much of a preference thing about what what you want to use as a goaltender. And I think that's something that anybody who's listening to these reviews um, can do is, is to understand what you like as a goaltender and, and look at these products and understand the strengths and weaknesses of it. So um, someone like myself who, who likes a more rounded edge, edge if we're talking about that piece um, or wants maybe more of a reinforced scoop, because I, I don't want to think about, like we've talked about with, clip, with eclipses where you know, it bounces off and, and goes in the net. Um, I think this one's a little bit better than that when it, when it comes to that. But, um, you know, I, I personally am a fan of how stiff the, the impact head is uh, when it comes to that. But um, yeah, again, like you, you got to find what's best for you and what works for you. So. Yeah. And this head's been out for a while. Um, it's not like a yeah. new head. We're just reviewing it now. And one of the things that they did do that, that, is my understanding is that like the first version was made with a certain plastic and they've upgraded it in the second version. So now when you order one, you do get, I, they probably have a, you know, a patented name for their plastic as every company does. Uh, but you get one that's a little bit more stiff, uh, you know, just better technology. Uh, yeah, it's, called, from, it's called Duro, Duro Volek. Duro Volek. Yeah. Duro Volek. That was going to be my guess. Yeah. If you had to give me one guess, I would be like Duro Volek. Definitely. Um, <laughs> love it. Hey everyone, it's uh, Evan here from Lax Goalie Rat. Um, just jumping into this review. Um, we made an error um, in this video when we we're looking at price. Um, so I just wanted to record this again. Um, so with the new Fort 7 Pro uh, Tribe 7 head, um, it comes in at $107.99 uh, for this head. Uh, which puts it um, at kind of a premium product comparable to that of uh, the STX Eclipse um, or the new ECD uh, Impact head. Um, you can purchase it um, as an unstrung head uh, for $107.99. Um, you can also get the head um, for an additional $45.99 uh, uh, strung uh, in a standard option like this. Um, or if you want uh, more custom features, uh, you can get it uh, with custom colored uh, mesh uh, and that I think comes in black and white, uh, as well as um, the complete sidewall uh, strings done up uh, in different colors as well. Um, sorry about that. Um, we'll uh, send you back into this review. Um, I posted it on my Instagram, you know, a picture of this head asking for feedback. And I'm not a, a stick stringer. Evan, I don't think you are. Dylan, I don't know. Do you string your own sticks? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. So no strict stick stringers on this call. But one of the comments that they made, a lot of the stick stringers made, is you can kind of see the holes at the very top. They're pretty small. Like, you can see that right there. It's almost, like, difficult to get, uh, you know, two strings in, right? Whereas when I compare that to something like the impact, you can see just how much bigger the, uh, the stick stringing holes are. So a lot of stringers said that that was kind of a pain um, just because you want – you know, a little more flexibility. 
um, to be able to get multiple strings through there nice and easily. Uh, so one thing worth mentioning, I think the sidewall holes, you know, are probably a little, just a tiny bit smaller, but, um, you know, they're definitely smaller when you compare it to uh, the, imp the impacts holes, which, you know, are pretty big. Um, so that's worth mentioning, worth mentioning right there. Um, who do you think this head would be really good for, uh, Dylan? Is there a certain type of goalie? So for me, you know, and, and my goalie is like, you know, I, I get, I have an impact. I play with an impact, uh, but I play with this as my gamer because I trust how it's going to perform. So I think it's not so much the head. I mean, yes, obviously the head makes a difference, but I feel like the head makes a difference way more for as you work your way up, the more elite goalies. For my youth goalies, if you can throw with it and you can catch with it and you're comfortable with it, that's your that's your goalie head. So I feel like the stringing and the performance is going to be much more important, especially for younger goalies uh, than the actual head. But I think this would be good for anybody. Um, you know, obviously it comes down to personal per personal preference. I'm sure the uh, impact will be my gamer pretty soon because it's new and it's developed by people that know exactly what they want and what the goalies want. Uh, and it's got a lot of pros, but this is good for people. $109 for a full full uh, setup to be able to play goalie is amazing. Um, you know, that, that was my main drawback from the impact was that it was fairly expensive for a lot of the heads on the market. So for anybody that likes to try new stuff, this is very uh, affordable. Awesome. Evan, would you add anything to that? Um, and so if you're new to the game or you're a younger kid, um, and you don't want to be spending a, a ton of money on, on equipment, um, at those early stages, um, especially when, you know, it's not necessarily that big of a factor. And probably when you're a younger kid, you probably want more surface area utilizing it. Um, so I think it's a really great option, um, when it comes to those youth goaltenders or people who are, are new getting into the game. Um, just again, that price point is, is something that, you know, is, is really important. Um, and you're still getting a quality product. Um, it's not like you're getting something that's, you know, lesser, um, right. for, for your value. So, yeah. 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 I agree. I could see a young, you know, a young goalie just getting started picking up one of these and, and, you know, great, great intro head at that price point. You could probably get it cheaper if you find one used on sideline swap or something like that, but even, you know, 75 bucks for a new head is a, is a great price. Uh, so yeah, interesting. We'll be uh, curious to see if we start, you start seeing more college goalies using it. I haven't seen uh, a lot of goalies use it yet, but a lot of goalies are very, um, you know, what's the right word? Like, you know, they don't want to branch out from what they know, you know, so that, so they're used to using the eclipse too. That's what they go with. Right. Or, or ECD like impact. That's what they go with. And, and, and they don't try out new things. So it'll be interesting to see, if any goalies, uh, you know, at the college or pro level, uh, start to use this one, uh, final thoughts, guys, I think we hit it. I think we hit it all. We talked about the performance, the durability, the face shape, the weight, the string ability. That is the tribe seven Fort seven head, uh, and great guys. Like I said, you know, smaller lacrosse company trying to grow, uh, and put out great products. Uh, Evan, final thoughts. Yeah, again, I, I again, I just want to echo what you said about the company itself. Like, I, I think it's a really awesome company. And um, I think the fact that they're willing to learn and they want to, um, you know, understand how they can make a better head and a better product for, for others as well, too. Um, you know, that's something that you might not get out of a lot of the bigger companies out there. The fact that they are um, so willing and stay connected to their base. Um, I think that's something that's really key. Um, again, I think that this is, you know, a really quality product at a lower price point, um, which is something that, you know, a lot of people are looking for. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily be um, scared away by the fact that you might think that just because it's a cheaper product that it might be made cheaply, like this is a good head and it's a good stick. There might be some things about it that don't fit with my preference, but again, they might fit with yours. So I, I wouldn't. I would, I would take a shot at this head if you think it's going to fit your game. So, yeah. Awesome. Dylan. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, don't be afraid to try new products, new things. Um, I also used one of these for box season as well. I play indoor goalie and I enjoyed it for that too. It's light. Um, 
feels like you get a little more, it fits the ground well in front of you. So, you know, even indoor goalies, give it a try for indoor. But I like it. Like like Evan said, I love the company. Always trying to support people that uh, try and grow the community. So uh, give it a try. There you go. Well, thanks, Evan. Thanks, Dylan. Uh, and thanks, Tribe 7, for sending us over this lacrosse goalie head to try out. It's the Tribe 7 Fort 7. Hope you enjoyed that review. Leave us a comment down below if you've used this head or you have any questions. And uh, let us know what you think. Take care.